Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, Software Engineer K here, and we have some pretty awesome stuff. Well, um, we have a lot of stuff to go through. So we have the current Monster Infinite Marketplace sale going on. Um, it has been very, very difficult to get onto now. Um, that is just purely to do with the fact that there have been huge, huge amounts of requests hitting the server. Um, the team has kind of spoken about this as well. Um, they've kind of described, you know, the issues with regards to the uh, traffic that they had previously and they've also put out an article um, just with more details on exactly what to do in order to secure a monster so um, if you just go straight to that article now they basically discussed that there was a lot of traffic and they also wanted to prevent things like ddos attacks as well so what they did was they basically kind of shadow ban an ip after a certain amount of requests now people had come up with ways to get around this using a VPN because then it you know changes your IP so you can get around the shadow ban. But basically, you know, if you were to sit there and refresh, you know, you can't log in and you refresh like five, six times, you know, you've sent five, six requests, then your IP kind of gets shadow banned for a little bit of time and you have to wait and then try again. So they kind of described it as sort of having an energy bar. You know, every time you try, your energy decreases until it's zero, and then you have to just wait. So you know, a lot of people, they may not have been aware of that and they were just sat there spamming and that, you know, didn't really do any good. You know, uh, Jin, the CEO, he said that, you know, sometimes if you want to be fast, you have to be slow. Um, and I kind of left it for an hour and I came back to it and I pretty much instantly logged in. So it does work. And now, um, if we go to the uh, marketplace, now, as we can see, the Chrono Zeros, there are still some available, but I don't think these are actually available. I think this is just kind of like a UI glitch because if I want to buy one, if I click on it, um, I have to click approve. It then kind of goes to my monster wallet. I can click confirm. And then if I click bid, it says execution reverted, not for sale. And if I click on any of these, it says execution reverted, execution reverted. I think all of these are actually sold out. Um, if I go to the second page, there's nothing there. So I think all of the Krona Zeros are definitely sold out. Now, if you go to the Soul Bonds, um, actually, if I go to my profile, I don't believe I've got anything here. So what I'll do is I'll go to the Marketplace. Now, actually, before I go to that, if you do want to exchange, you know, your money tokens to STT, as you can see here, I have 1,000, well, 106,000 STT tokens, 130 money. Now, if I put in 100, you can see the current rate. So 100 money tokens gets you 38,000 uh, STT tokens. Uh, that's a better rate than what I was seeing before, what I paid for. Um, but basically, the STT, uh, it refreshes, you know, this r supply is replenished. You can see the rate is changing, it's increasing because more STT is being added. That's probably because there's less demand for it now. You know, it has been pretty much nearly 12 hours since they've been live. You can see it's refreshing live. So, you know, at the time, uh, I couldn't even get on. Um, it took me literally like five hours just to connect my wallet. Um, and I think other people had similar issues. And, you know, this was kind of their first proper launch you know the first launch they had to take it offline there's too many requests so this will improve over time anyway um but let's see if we can get a monster just to show you guys so i've got my account now i think everything on the first page is sold out even though it shows here now if we go here let's try for i think everything that's above seventy-six thousand is gone so let's try for eighty-two thousand. if i click approve we should get a monster wallet request there. And now if I click buy, we, yep, yeah, I'm going to confirm. And it says transaction sent, but will not guarantee bid success. And now that was number 82,179. If we go to profile, we can see my egg is actually there. It's incubating. So I was successful in purchasing that egg here. Um, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and, you know, I might as well buy three more. Uh, sorry, two more. So that was 82,000. Let's go for the next ones up. So, do, 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 do. okay, yeah. So let's go with 82, this one. So I'm going to click buy. And just wait for that to confirm. And I'm going to buy one more. Buy. Oh, that one's sold out. Let's go with this one. 
Okay, that one should be available 82445. Now, if you go back to profile, we still have only one here. I think we should uh, see one more in a second. Um, but you can see that's my STT tokens. I've got my one sold one. Now, if I actually go to my other account, um, because this isn't my main account, I've got another account here. So you can actually have multiple accounts associated with your wallet. If I go to account number one, so here, I've got three monsters, so I can't actually buy any more in this account. I've got one Inception monster. Um, for those who haven't seen it, I'll show you guys quickly. So no legendary parts. You know, I hatched that. There you go. Nothing fancy. Um, but if I go to here, so I've got my two soul bonds incubating currently. Um, I wish I'd kind of been able to get a Corona Zero, but you know, there you go. Um, and let's see if I now go back and go to my other account let's just go to account number two i'll go back to profile okay there you go so we've got all three of our soul bonds currently incubating so you can have multiple um accounts you know it's not an issue now let, what's let's see do we have another account okay so we've got another account here what i'll show you guys is we have the um exchange here if I wanted so um, I think it's like how much is it for a soul bond let's see before we exchange too many of our money tokens so a soul bond is about 1.5k okay let's say 1.6 so I want free for about 5k let's try and get 5k STT so that's gonna give me okay okay so we'll go with 15 money tokens okay so we're going to exchange, uh, let's get, okay, 14 money tokens. We're going to click approve. We're going to, sit, you know, get a confirmation. And there you go. So if I go back now to my profile, we haven't got anything here. Um, I think it's just going to take a bit of time. Um, but yeah, the balance is still showing us 200. So I think that's just going to take a bit of time. I can see my wallet. It says uh, it's coming up with a transaction. Okay, we'll, we'll try we'll try again and see what happens. Approve. Confirm. And okay, so we're just waiting. Um, now what we'll do is we'll just go back to the other screen here, so you guys can see. Okay, so these Chrono Zeros, you know, I don't think they are actually available for sale anymore. They are sold out. Um, now, it doesn't matter too much, you know, if you are only able to get Soul Bonds. You know, at least you can participate in the game. Uh, if you have an Inception monster, that's really important because then you can participate in the beta access. Um, now, people who do kind of like buy the Chrono Zeros and breed them, they will be able to sell them on the secondary market. So you're able to get Chrono Zeros with Zero Breeds later on anyway. It's not a big issue, you know, I think there was a lot of FOMO, so I think people end up overpaying a bit. Um, I can see the price of these, you know, coming down to a reasonable level. Um, but yeah, I think in terms of the effect on the actual money token itself, um, if we just go straight to the price of money. Um, <clears throat> so we saw a lot of accumulation at the top. Um, you know, we saw this level of, uh, if I just... Here we go. Okay. So, yeah, we saw a level approaching around about that $3 range again, which was, you know, we haven't seen that in a while. If I go to the hourly chart, here we go. So, yeah, we peaked at about $3.40, and then we had this huge sell off, and now we're sat around about $2.70 um, in this key point of, kind of resistance here. But, you know, this kind of just shows that, you know, we had so much FOMO, like, if I uh, so this was pretty much all oh that's not a very good color okay so this yellow region that was just you know people just trying to buy as much as they can did we always see this I always say you know don't FOMO in wait a bit and you know even if you had waited like a bit and you got in like a couple of hours later on you would have gotten your chrono zeros and you wouldn't have you know paid these extortionate rates so that's pretty much everything I want to go through with you guys today. My eggs are incubating, so we'll see what happens. Um, 
revisit this in five days and see what we get. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. Please do like and subscribe to support the content and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.